everyone, this is BT here with FXLiveDayTrading.com. I promised to do a video on the trades today. Uh, I did send this email out earlier before non-farm payroll. I think it was about 8, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, basically, I informed members that I was taking along. Um, you know, I'm just emailing, giving my opinion. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, doing this for a living um, definitely motivates me to be on uh, the forefront of any quote edge that I can gain in trading. So um, I felt that we did have an edge here. I felt that the um, euro dollar has really been talked down lately uh, and even the Fed yesterday, not the Fed, sorry, the BO, uh, ECB, Mario Draghi, uh, performed a pretty dovish speech. It was kind of interpreted that, but really it was, it was just kind of neutral. Needless to say, we broke through this trend line and we were going sideways and we stood our ground on certain key levels that I discussed over and over again in the room um, continuously. So this is not something new that I just woke up this morning and I said, hey, I think I'll go long the euro dollar. No, no, no. I have been discussing this dollar uh, Swiss short and I sent this out as a signal. And this is something that I've been discussing now since Monday. And in fact, even last Friday, when I first initiated this sell um, at a major level and I explained that and I'll be actually posting an exclusive uh, um, article a little bit later for members only to really talk about uh, why this uh, level here was so key and we came up, touched that, even retested it um, three times and then finally waited, made our way down to this beautiful support area here. So I'm going to explain that in detail for members. But overall, just wanted to explain um, to some of you out there that trading is not something that, uh, you know, every day you can say, well, I had a huge day. It's not going to happen every day, okay, for the most part. Sometimes you're going to get that one day out of the week and it's going to make your month. You're going to get the one day out of the week, it's going to make your week. The object, the idea here is if you're in a bad trade, which is going to happen, you just have to know when to cut it. Okay, uh, some traders uh, may trade with a stop, some may trade without a stop. Um, it really depends on your style. Trading without a stop is something that definitely uh, is very dangerous unless you're using a tiny amount of leverage. So, uh, bottom line is we had non-farm payroll come out. What re why did I really go after these pairs was because I felt that they would be influenced the most by gold, which I uh, really was talking again about the key support being hit and the fact that we should be popping in gold. All right, great. It worked out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some more videos uh, maybe the latter part of uh, next week. Middle of next week as some of the smoke clears from this pretty significant move today. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Take care.